hi everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then i welcome you if you love watching handbag videos then definitely hit the subscribe button but let's go ahead and get into this video so as you all can see by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be talking about my Marc Jacobs totes these are videos y'all that I do not like to do but I do feel that it is very important especially for me as a content creator to do videos like this that way you all can see my experience as well now I do want to go ahead and put it out there that me doing this video today is not in any way to bash this particular brand or to hinder you from purchasing this particular brand. It is more so just to make you all aware of the Marc Jacobs warranty program if you ever have to use it. Unfortunately, I did have to go ahead and use that program. I think that the Marc Jacobs tote bags are awesome totes, y'all. But just like any other brand, there can certainly be quality issues. The material and everything itself can be bomb, but if quality control isn't the greatest, then I feel like you can easily get a bag that is just no good. And I feel like that's pretty much what's been happening to me. <laughs> so to get started, the very first bag we're gonna talk about is this one here. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that my very first Marc Jacobs tote bag was a pink tote. It was in the color bright pink, I think is the name. And I absolutely love that bag. But after a couple of wears, I noticed that it started having pop stitches. So me not really knowing how to handle that, I just ended up getting rid of that bag. Now, of course, I did regret doing that because, again, the tote itself is an awesome bag and it's an amazing carry. It's so very practical, especially for my lifestyle. So um, a year or so went by and I decided to give the brand another chance. So they came out with their splatter collection. It did come in this black color and also like a bluish tan color. And I fell in love, y'all. I had to have it. When I did the unbagging of this bag, I told y'all my concerns before about me having the pop stitching. And some of you suggested that I take a lighter to those stitches that would certainly get rid of them. You all also told me to record it if I did ever do that. So, y'all, I am I was nervous, okay? I was nervous. And just to let y'all know, I would never take a lighter to any of my leather bags. But when I started seeing little stitches popping up on this bag, y'all, I did go ahead and try that out and i did actually record it so let's take a look all right y'all so here is the pop stitch here i'm gonna put my hand behind it so you can see so see it's not really bad um but i've been finding a few of these on this bag and all i've been doing is taking a lighter to it someone suggested that i do that and y'all i was brave enough to do it i was scared but i did it so now we're gonna take the lighter to this one See that y'all? There we go. Okay. So yeah, there's that. And as y'all can see, I did not damage the bag. <laughs> and no, I would not try this on a leather bag because I am not that brave. So yeah, y'all, I was so nervous, but as y'all can see in that clipping, um, that did take care of that pop stitch. I haven't had any more pop stitches and it's just perfect. And it's just a bomb bag. I absolutely love it. So that's that one. Now let's talk about this one here. Y'all know how I feel about this bag. When I first unboxed this bag, I was so, 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 so excited head over heels because I did not have this color in my collection. It was just the perfect shade of purple. I carried this bag for four days, the first time I got it. Had no issues with it, um, haven't had any pop stitches or anything. It's just a great bag. So um, I was actually pulling this bag out again recently to move into it. And I had unzipped the bag here like so when i did so i pulled the flaps up 
to take my stuffing and everything out. And when I pulled the flap up, y'all, I looked into this bag and I was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> so I'll pop up a picture for y'all. But when I pulled up the flaps, I noticed that the glazing was peeling on this bag. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, please no, not again. Like, what is it with me and Marc Jacobs totes? So the first thing that I did was reach out to my tribe sisters and ask them to check over their bag and see if they're having glazing issues too. Um, and they were like, nope, their bag was fine. So the next thing I did was reach out to Marc Jacobs customer service via phone. And when I reached out to them, um, they gave me a an email address for their warranty company and told me that I needed to email them and then they'd go from there. So I reached out to them and I was like, you know, I purchased this bag at your flagship location via phone. I told them that and I told them what was going on, how it's only on this one side. I looked all around the bag and there's no other like glazing issues except for there. So I didn't know whether or not this bag was defective or if something I did, I, I just did not know. They told me that I would need to send them photos and I would need to send them proof of purchase because with their warranty program, they do offer a one year warranty for their bags, but they will only take care of things for you if you purchase it from their actual store or from their online store. So that was a big thing I did not pay attention to when I first um, started, you know, purchasing from them. So in knowing that with me purchasing like this bag from Neiman, I think it was, there's nothing that they can do about this bag if it did have some kind of issue going on with it. So just keep that in mind, y'all. Um, when purchasing your bags, if you do want to be able to utilize that warranty then just make sure that you get it from an actual Marc Jacobs store or from the Marc Jacobs website okay so I was very thankful that I did pick this bag up from their actual Marc Jacobs store because once they actually looked over my photos and everything they were actually going to be the ones to have to determine whether or not it was defective or not because if it was something that I did or if it was some kind of normal wear and tear, they weren't going to be able to help me out on this. So it took about a week or so for them to reach back out to me, but they did respond back and they were like, you know, I'm so sorry that this is happening to your bag. After looking it over, we are deeming that this bag is in fact defective and we want to help you resolve this. So I was like, okay, awesome. Um, where do I send the bag to? I want to go ahead and have it repaired because I really, really love this bag. So they were like, you know, unfortunately, we do not repair bags. They were like, you know, you can actually keep your defective bag and we will send you out a replacement. However, the color that you have is no longer in stock. So you would have to choose between these four colors here. At the time, red, cement, argon oil, and black was available for purchase. So I did actually end up choosing one of those colors. But I was actually still bummed, y'all, because yeah, even though they were going to send me out another bag, it still isn't going to help the fact that my bag has glazing issues. I'm just going to have to pay out of pocket to get this bag repaired. But... I love it so much that I am actually willing to do that. So I'll keep you all updated on that, you know, process and everything as well. But um, yeah, that's that. And I do now have the replacement bag, y'all. In total, it took about two weeks for everything just to um, go through. So here is the box and I am going to go ahead and show you all the color that I did end up going with. Um, so let's get on into this box. Yeah, I'm still a little bummed though. I am trying to be uh, in good spirits about it because I mean, if they don't do repairs, then I mean, with them not doing repairs though, y'all, that is a bummer because on the website, all it says is they do not repair or replace final items. They didn't say that they don't repair bags in general. But now I know, and so, yeah. Okay, let's get in here. Okay, so it 
says Mark Jacobs. And they did send me a return label. Okay. Here's the bag. Move that over. y'all so the color that i ended up going with is one that i have not really seen a lot of so that's why i was like okay let me just give this color a try i do not have this color in my collection that i can think of or maybe i do but yeah all right oh wow it is beautiful so i ended up going with the color cement y'all and again this is the tote bag in the small size and let's see i just want to quickly look it over even though i did not pay for this bag i still want to look it over because you know i really don't want to go through this again so give me a second okay i'm looking over the stitching and i'll most likely look over the stitching a little bit more once i'm off camera but I am just quickly looking this over because I know the areas that I have been having issues with with the other bags. Okay. All right, no glazing issues. That's good. No peeling. So just from looking at this bag, it does look to be good. So yeah, I'll probably come back to you all with maybe a month update, letting y'all know how this bag is wearing for me, but I am hoping that I don't have any issues. <laughs> all right, y'all. So moving on to the very last bag, my beloved mini tote bag in the color Morning Glory. So y'all, y'all already know I had mixed emotions about this bag when I first got it, all because of the interior. I wasn't sure what it was, but Marc Jacobs did actually confirm to me that it was um, more of a durable leather interior. So that made me feel a lot better and really helped me in making my decision on whether or not I was going to keep this bag because I really, really love the color, y'all. That's the main reason why... I was like, okay, willing to get past the interior is because of the color of this bag. Like y'all can see behind me all the different pinks that I have in my collection and I don't have anything like this. So yeah, I have been enjoying this bag y'all. I have carried it four different times already and it's just, it's just amazing. Like it enhances my outfits and I just love it. So my heart shattered y'all. Actually, I'm not even gonna lie, I dropped a couple of tears when I moved out of this bag the last go round because I moved out of it and I was doing my, you know, checking around the bag, making sure everything was good. And I get to this part of the bag and my, my heart dropped. So I'm gonna insert a video clipping. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna get in close for you all to see this. So. There's the stitch, right? That's the pop stitch. And I hate that I did not see this in time. Could y'all see that? It has come out of the thing there. And then see here on the back side, it's like they just took one stitch and hooked it all the way across over here. Did y'all see that? It's loose. So yeah, y'all. I don't know if this is a normal thing for Marc Jacobs, but I had pop stitching issues in the past and it looks like I'm still having pop stitch issues. But in this case, I feel like I did not catch this one in time. And that's just heartbreaking. So I already know just from experience with the Marc Jacobs warranty program that there's nothing that they can do for me when it comes to this bag mainly because number one they do not do repairs and number two the warranty does not work on bags that wasn't purchased um from their store or from from their website um so yeah y'all that is pretty much my little update on my bag and after all of that is said and done um do i recommend the mark jacobs tote bags 
Well, yeah, absolutely. I do recommend them. Even though I'm having quality issues with mine, I can have quality issues with any bags. Um, as much as I love MCM, it can have a quality issue. As much as I love my coach bags, they can have quality issues. That's just how it is. And if you collect handbags long enough, you'll probably run into the quality issues as well. But um, I wanted to, again, do this video, y'all, just to give you all my experience. If you ever have to um, go through something like this, then you'll know the steps to take to get it resolved. So I do hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.